Okay, hey, how's it going? Um, I'm just going to show you the Magic Move in Keynote. Um, basically, Keynote's been used a little bit at my university, and I wanted to find out what all the fuss was about. Um, downloaded it a little while ago, didn't get much time to use it. Uh, I was coming back from home, and uh, I thought it was going to take a long time to learn all the features of Keynote. It really doesn't, it's really easy. Um, and literally, this magic move I did on the bus, which took me about five minutes tops to really perfect. So let me show it to you. So basically, open up Keynote. Okay, you can see on the left-hand side, these are all the things that I've been doing and will hopefully show you later on in other tutorials. If I do Keynote, if I do File, New, got all your different backgrounds. I'm going to use Gradient. Quite nice, quite like that one. Um, so if I choose that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this, get rid of that, and I'm just going to minimise my previous one and scoot this window to the left, so I can just drag and drop my three, oh, three images into Keynote. And what the Magic Move essentially does, it lets you transition between slides really smoothly. So what I'm going to do is resize these images, make them really small as you can see. Um, and what we're going to do is, after you've made them really small, you're going to right click on slide number one and you're going to press duplicate. So now you're on slide number two. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put Safari here, make it really big. I'm going to put the iPod logo thingy here. So I just want to make sure I can line it up. And these yellow ruler lines really help you with that. And hopefully that will fit in the middle somewhere. Brilliant. Okay, so what we've got is we've got our slide number one, slide number two, with the pictures in different areas. This is where the magic move comes into place. I'm going to open up Inspector, and it automatically comes onto Slide and Transition. If you go to Effects, or Effect, and Magic Move, the small window shows you what goes on there. And all we're going to do now is press Play, and it will magic move. So slide one, click enter, slide two, and it appears really nicely um, on your screen. If I escape from that, there's a few things we can do to enhance that. We can make it a bit slower. So if I increase this in the inspector to three seconds, and when I click play, I want it to start automatically. Okay, so if I press play again, it starts automatically, three seconds, and it's magic moved. Um, probably you'd want text on it, so what I'd do is click the text box at the top, um, iPod, here, um, Whatever, and uh, next one Safari. Same thing again, click on slide number one. If I press play, automatically goes and the text appears. Just want to show you one more thing on this one. Um, with a text, if I just hold down command and hold all of them and go to build, I can actually build in a bouncy effect. Um, something a little bit fun, can make it a bit quicker. Um, let's put that to one second.
and if I click more options, I want it to start automatically after the prior build. So if I now go back to number one, press play, automatically goes through, selected automatically, and the text appears. It's pretty cool. That is your magic move. But then I'm sort of thinking, um, you know, where can I use this in a real life situation? Um, because you know, what what can I use in the PowerPoint to do this? And this is where I found it out really, 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 really helpful. Um, if I do a new slide and just move my inspector to that side, what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to close the inspector for a second. Sorry. I'm going to move that over here. I'm going to get my next image, which is G-Strings logo. Um, just gonna get rid of that, get rid of that, and this is the same magic move again. So if tree strings is there, I've got text and said, um, for example, I love uh, tree strings, and also another text box at the bottom it says cheese strings have been here oh are they delicious oh, anyway there you go the reason I'm using cheese strings is because I did a projects and cheese strings and I'm kind of nicking my friend's idea but um, whatever this is just to show you guys so I've got my cheese strings logo there got my I love cheese strings and some text at the bottom I'm gonna do the magic move again I'm gonna duplicate the slide and what we're gonna do is we're now on number four and um, so I'm gonna take this out I love cheese strings I'm gonna take this out and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move this here okay so then remember got to go back to number three again if I go to inspector if I've got to go to slide and transition I want to do that magic move again and as you can see I don't know if you noticed in the little window it showed that move left to right um, and I want that on click if I go back here and put in chart and I'm going to choose pie chart um, just examples so you made a pie chart um, do a little bit of 3D affecting yeah that's perfect drag that down to the bottom it doesn't really matter what it is I'm just showing you for like PowerPoints where you'd use the magic the magic move so I've got my pie chart there and I've got the little box at the bottom um, I'm going to move cheese strings up here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to shapes I'm going to get the bubble and gonna put it like that and then gonna right click it center Ooh, uh, center back that's it center back and as you can see sort of see already what we're trying to do but the cheese string background doesn't really match up with the background of the bubble so Color fill. This one. Get that. Ooh. Sorry. So basically, you go to the graphic inspector, change this to color fill, get our box up here, and this will appear. This one here with the 
circle and all that, get my magnifying glass, and what I'm going to do is put it over the G strings one. Ah! G strings one. And it changes the colour. Close that. Close inspect. I don't really want it up now. Just to make it a little bit more tidy. <sighs> Gonna make that smaller. Oh, there you go. Let's have a look. If I do play, I love cheese strings. Cheese strings have been here for many years and are bloody delicious. The magic move then goes like that. So between slides, you can have that. I mean, obviously, you could instead have instead of cheese strings there, you could have had, for example, one of the um, text boxes moving in there. Same sort of process. But yeah, that is your magic move. Um, you can run through the slide again for number one. Um, automatically does it, and the text comes up. iPod, hi, Safari. Cheese strings, I love cheese strings. Cheese strings have been here for many years and are bloody delicious. Press enter again and it moves. Um, and that is literally all of it done. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm gonna put a few more things up since my first video. So yeah, hope that helped. Thanks very much.